Hello, a Pisces. It's me, Brandy, from TorianEye.com. This is your November of 2022 general reading. We're going to see what unfolds for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's see. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, I like that. It is the melting mask. That says, allow your spirit self to shine through the many roles you fulfill. It's a beautiful card. It's underneath the deck. Intention is under the deck. Okay, intention. It is lacking personal direction. And begets confusion and life as a pawn to someone else's game of chess. Hmm. And underneath that is a weeping wound of you are not your wounds. You are not your wounds, my friend. Like, I think there's a lot of people who do a lot of stuff based on everything they've been through. And I get that, but you're supposed to use it as like a stepping stone, okay? Not a... Not a block stone. So, this is uh, the mask that you've been wearing is distorting, constricting, and concealing rather than reflecting a true expression of yourself. A mask typically arises out of the ego's desire to be real and in control when in fact it is neither. The ego, like the body and emotions, are tools. Their function, when used appropriately and proportionately, is to give authentic form and expression to our spirit self. Um, it is the impending loss of a mask to an encounter, an event, and a circumstance that incites its melting. A period of confusion, turmoil, and or grief may follow this mask dissolution. It had once served you in some way, therefore it is lost that can take some adjusting too. Especially if there remains a significant identification with and attachment to the mask of who you have, like portrayed yourself to be but this is positive it's positive you know okay um and there's an intention here so it's like everything is unfolding where you can actually play the role of what you want and not what your wounds want you know um it's almost like in time you're gonna be begin to see that losing that image that you portrayed yourself to be who you thought you were um it's actually freeing you so you can start to experience uh more that you are right and that's why i said it's not a bad thing look at all the bold colors like gold of protection a grounding earth artistic sensibility um it's just saying like there is change coming where you'll have um a natural feel for life you know what is your main role at the moment and what does that mean to you and can you be more or less of yourself and do you want to be seen by other people you know maybe you should volunteer somewhere maybe you should see what's energizing you what's draining you what thoughts are draining you and then when the, you get the answer you know is that a function that's constricting you know, would you love to love it or do you want to lose it? Uh, are you terrified of it going away? It's all about being transparent. So it's very important for that mask to uh, let go. It, it's no longer serving your functions, what they're saying. It's a detri detrimental uh, to your highest good in life. It's hard sometimes, I know, when we all want to punch someone in the throat. I have to draw it back and do it in a smarter way, I guess. Because um, there is a wound here, whether that's a relationship or how you think you've lost time or how you had to be something for someone else, like family and such. So, this is through, like, a heartbreak, um, choices you've allowed others to make for you instead of yourself um, constantly deliberating something and not really putting any conscious intention toward what you value and like what you want to do and granted I tell people you know 
we can keep climbing the ladder, but if you keep deliberating on what you want that's going to make you happy, I mean, time is short in that sense. So this is more of a time to clarify your priorities and what your value is and the choice that's clashing with those priorities. Um, you need to be conscious where you give away your yourself, your power. So if someone else is in control, which both these are like someone else is in control of who you are, then you need to, well, again, go back and frame what it is that you want. You know, what's the vision for your life? What did you, what did you see it as? What's your value? What's your plan? What's your non-negotiable, you know, not from an ego self though. It's more all about transparency that you're afraid of. That's what I get. So you have to put your intention um, and be the master of yourself where you take the responsibility of yourself, the purpose of yourself, and then no longer compromise yourself is what this is. I like it. Um, <clears throat> there they are. Whether that's a relationship, a job, a, a friendship. I mean, there's just so much here. <sighs> Let's see what me, me, me has to say. <laughs> you need a fresh outlook. I don't know if that's going to focus or not, but that says you need a fresh outlook. That's why these are not for sale because they didn't come out very. Okay. Souls have no understanding of time nor distance. One more spirit. This feels like, um, your friend, uh, your job, whatever you're wanting is on, uh, the other side of where you're at. <laughs> Be the fool occasionally. That means take a chance on yourself. Don't go out and be stupid. That's what that means. Be free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're gonna put that up here. I didn't I actually seen that. It's like uh stop just existing and you know live, dude. Live. Live That's it. That is Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus spirits, Archangels, Guides, Protectors, and my demons. <laughs> like legit. Can't be a shadow worker in a mirror without them. If y'all head to my YouTube, it's been like, oh, I don't know, a year and a half ago, you'll hear I'm talking to me. Alright. Can we get the Melty Mask? Ace of Swords. That's clarity and truth. That's very precise and intentional. Right, but a little more work. Okay. This is uh, experimentation. So it's okay to go through those many stages to figure out what that is, who you are, because you feel numb. Like, You've done everything for everyone else. Like he's sitting there happy. Um, and it's like people are doing trial runs on you. And well, we got to stop because you don't feel yourself. You're con you're constantly bored because you're not being yourself. The intentions are not yours here. Mm. Okay. Intentions. This literally feels like you're, you've discovered that you need somewhere... Uh, fresh like you everyone has responsibilities um but like it says like your soul it doesn't understand the whole time frame we've signed up we don't remember crap we're here and it's like trying to get out but everyone with these social constructs or what other people need or trying to be a good boy or girl for the family you know I'm not saying drug users I'm not saying people who beat their kids I'm saying people who feel lost and do their everyday things and they do their best but it's the social construct here that has literally 
molded you. Your wound has molded you. We all have wounds. I don't care where you come from, what your name is, what role you play. We all have them. Intention. Intention. Queen of Swords. You know what that feels like? This could be a, a mother who's very demanding. This could be a partner, a friend. Um, that is... Hold on. Yeah, Two of Swords. Seven of Swords. Okay. You know what I literally feel like this is like? Someone has demanded you to do certain things in life, but they're lying about uh, how they came about, like their lesson and what they did. You know what I mean? Because I feel like they were just as lost or they're bluffing about what they plan to do if you decide to set your intentions on what it is that you want. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, there is uh, outside influences. We're just going to call it that. Right? We want you to be with this person, but you don't feel alive with that person. It doesn't fit the, the social constructs of what, you know, uh, the family wants. I keep getting a lot of this type of message. It's insanity. Five of Swords. Yeah, that's that internal struggle. I do believe some type of family inheritance is involved with this. Or you losing the rights to see your kid or, you know what I mean? So you buried yourself under what someone else wants. Man. Yeah, Ten of Wands, dude. It's so stressful. So stressful. You get drained so easily because... You're trying so hard to please someone or what you think someone wants. King of Swords. So we do have a match here. It's almost like someone's trying to trip you up or someone has you locked in, locked in something. Did I drop here? I don't want to tip my camera. Mm, what fell? Six of Cups, King of Swords again, and Six of Swords. So that is six to seven weeks for me, just so we're clear because of the King of Swords, okay? This is something that you've wanted to do, but it's been covered up by what other people want to do, what they have dictated for you, um, where you feel like you've had to close yourself off, you know, real love doesn't exist, or uh, my dream doesn't exist, or it's too late, yada yada, because of what you've been fed, Resentful and defensive is under there too. So re resentful. Think loving thoughts for the person or yourself that you resent. It's restricting your emotional happiness. It is. It is. And I, But I understand why you may resent them. Defensive. Hear other people's perspectives and feelings to shift your focus to them. It's not always about you. Because of your wound, right? Uh, there is a person who could help you on the project. There is a person, you know, that your ego self is not allowing you mm -hmm, to know your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness of other people. Right, because you got a compulsive behavior that's trying to identify your internal feelings and that's how you feel you control the moment. Like maybe... You quit jobs a lot. Maybe you go through a lot of relationships. That's you trying to internally digest your old wound and, and like trying to suffice your need for more because again, you've been covering that up with what other people want, right? Societal expectations. Mm. Which is a ongoing theme so far for the past five readings. Okay, I'm trying not to mess the cards up here. 
Okay. All right, I'm gonna plug my uh, my bloodline here. On my site, if you go to the um, candle ritual uh, ban energy banishment, um, it's forty two dollars. My cousin is a chaos witch, so to speak. If it's not your energy, it will be re redirected back to, to the sender. She takes pride in that, by the way. It's $42. All right. But she will need who you think. Okay, Pisces. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. This is family secrets, family ties. Wanting to be free of that. Wanting, wanting to go get lost in love. <laughs> I mean, really, it's the misery and the call of the love. But it's all about the family tree and the old wound and, you know, a child or wanting a child, uh, the traditional aspects. This is really trying to give you a new perspective. And that's been repetitive in the readings too. New perspectives, new set of eyes, seeing clearly, having a lucky break and travel and spirituality and not you know, sticking to this traditional aspect. And that is here. That is both these cards. That is a family upbringing that you think you have to stick to, which is why you have no idea what you want or even how to do it. And that's why you've become very defensive and resentful and probably lashing out on the people who actually love you because you are playing tug of war and passive aggressive with someone that you care about, right? And they say we hurt the ones we love the most. So, let's see. Sometimes in life, we really do meet genuine people. Sometimes. They may not say, but they're there. What is our parking wisdom? Or Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My my Lilith is Pisces. My sexuality. Okay, so I have three I felt energetically. So I'm going to go take them and I'm going to summarize them. You are not running out of time. Yes, I said that earlier. Like, there is time to do what you want. There is no time limit on you starting it. You just need to start it. This is building your own dreams and the fact that he's pointing over to the future tells me again it's like leaving your area okay you're very good with animals and manifesting what you want but you cannot allow the wound to muddy those waters the ego to muddy those waters you need to set your sight your intentions and this will happen it should happen probably travel or moving by the beginning of December I feel okay and it feels very productive like you are free like but you have to you start you have to start it's a whole new life whole new perspective shedding those layers of the ego okay being free all right, let me know if this resonates for you. Hit like, share, subscribe, and comment. Like I said, you can go to toriandi.com, and there's many services offered, and I'll catch you later.